Well, folks, here we again for the weekly forecast. Of course, I've been gone the past two weeks, and during this last two weeks, we have had a couple rounds of severe weather move through the state. And during this last week, we, of course, we had some precipitation that was widespread across the southern two-thirds of the state during the Tuesday time frame with the heaviest precipitation totals the closer you got to the Kansas border. Now, as we go through this upcoming week, there are several opportunities for precipitation, which will increase as we move through the week as we see another low, or low move into the southwestern United States. The good news is that some for the people to the east of us, where the very cold air has been set in for the better part of the last couple of weeks, with the return to this troughing action of the western United States, we're going to actually start to see some warmth build into the eastern Corn Belt, which has been unusually cold, running anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees below normal over this better part of the last week, especially over the upper Great Lakes region. So overall, it looks to be an improving picture in the eastern portions of the Corn Belt. For the western Corn Belt, once this upper air low moves into our region, it looks like it would be very soggy, particularly as we get to the later part of the week. So let's take a look and see how the daily uh, factors are going to play into into this situation. And here we have what's remains of some troughing action that moved through earlier this week in the eastern Corn Belt. Very little precipitation we expected with this, but the main action, of course, is to our west. So we have a large trough digging all the way into the southwestern United States, and this is going to be a slow progressor as we move eastward as we have this blocking high pressure in place. So we're expecting very nice conditions today and nice warm conditions with the southwest flow at the surface. Now, as we go into tomorrow, we'll see this trough trying to make a little bit of progress into western Nebraska. So the best opportunity would be late afternoon shower development and a lot isolated more in nature toward eastern Nebraska. But as we get into Monday, we start to see that first trough kind of wash out and the remnants of that will be situated over eastern Nebraska. And that's where we expect to see any isolated shower activity to develop. And as we go into Tuesday, what we're going to notice is a reinforcing trough starting to re rebuild back in. That's going to eject more energy out of the southwest. So we'll get a brief reprieve on Tuesday across eastern Nebraska, maybe an isolated shower across western Nebraska, but overall a fairly warm trend. And as we go into Wednesday, now this trough starts to dig back in. We start to pull a little Gulf moisture into the region. So we'll start to see an increasing probability of precipitation across western Nebraska and some of that translating eastward over the overnight hours. But more importantly, as we get into Thursday, this is when the main trough is expected to start moving out. I would expect to see a severe weather outbreak across the Texas Panhandle, western Kansas, and possibly even into southwest Nebraska as the system starts to lift toward the northeast. And we'll see the generation of the shower and thunderstorm activity spread upwards into eastern Nebraska as we go through the overnight hours and particularly into Friday where the upper air low starts to spin to the south of us and generates the activity in eastern Nebraska and we have to pay attention depending on where the slow moves out will really dictate who gets the worst of the severe weather and in fact if we get enough severe weather built up in southern in southern Kansas and eastern Oklahoma, it may rob some of that moisture moving toward the north. And as we look at the 8 to 14 day forecast, of course that trough kind of peters out somewhat. So we see the warm temperatures remain in the eastern United States with the ridging pattern. And as we look at the precipitation, widespread precipitation, although as the system moves eastward, there are signs that it's going to weaken somewhat. And so the precipitation across the eastern Corn Belt may not nearly be as significant. So for us, overall, it looks like it's going to be a fairly pleasant week through the midweek period with just light chances of shower activity and then the precipitation ramps up dramatically as we go into this weekend for yet another very wet weekend ahead as it's been a pattern off and on now for the better part of the last two months.